Hey everybody, Pete Byer, Motor Age Magazine. Man, am I getting excited. We're about six weeks out from Auto Mechanica Chicago, shaping up to be one of the biggest training events ever held in the industry in the United States. And a big help for that are our friends in Max, that's the Mobile Air Conditioning Society worldwide. And with us today is Steve Shaber. Steve, how are you doing? Good, Pete. How are you? Good, great. Thanks for taking some time out to hang with me this morning. Hey, thanks for inviting me. Um, I think what I'd like to start with first, Steve, for those of the guys who aren't watching, who aren't familiar with Max, let's talk a little bit about who the Mobile Air Conditioning Society is, what you guys do. Sure. Well, uh, most guys know Max uh, from their uh, certification for working with uh, motor vehicle refrigerants. Uh, we're kind of uh, kind of the 800-pound gorilla in the room when it comes to getting certified. Uh, so under Section 609 of the Clean Air Act, it's required for technicians to be certified to work with refrigerants. And, um, you know, most technicians uh, have a MAC certification, and we're probably certified, uh, especially us, uh, us older guys, uh, were certified back in the 90s. Um, but that's the, that's the core, the main uh, activity that MAX does. Uh, but aside from that, what a lot of people don't know is we're also uh, the largest trade organization for the mobile air conditioning industry. Uh, and we put on an annual trade show every year. And we have a training event where it's uh, all AC all the time. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we're a good forum for people who uh, work every day in the mobile AC industry. Sure. Uh, everyone from refrigerant manufacturers to parts manufacturers, uh, vehicle OEMs, and uh, also technicians like us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, members of Max. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we just went had your show here uh, back just a few months ago down in Orlando, which was kind of nice to get out the break from the cold weather. Um, hey, I want to go back to the 609 part first because, you know, I'm sure you've seen and I've seen in our, in our travels and our training, um, a lot of guys don't know they need to have this. So let me just kind of put that out there. Guys, if you are doing any kind of air conditioning service or repair, and as the, as the EPA says, for compensation, which means you're getting paid. Uh, I used to tell guys in class that, I mean, even if you're doing it for a neighbor and he pays you off in a six-pack, that's for compensation, right? So you, you got to be careful with worrying on, on, that, on that law. But you have to have 609 certification in your pocket in order to do that legally. Uh, now, this is not like having an ASC certification in air conditioning repair. This is in the safe management of the refrigerants that you're dealing with, isn't it, Steve? Yeah, and uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, and it surprises me, uh, you know, especially doing this all day, every day, and teaching the classes that I do, uh, that guys don't know that they're required to be certified. Um, it was a uh, it was a very big thing in the industry 20 years ago, um, but it's still important. And 609 doesn't just cover uh, the rules and regulations of the EPA, uh, but a huge part of it is actually best practices. Sure. Uh, so it's, it's not so much that guys need to know what the laws are, as well as how to properly and especially how to safely work with refrigerants. Right. Uh, one of those... It's one of those services that we do on uh, all kinds of motor vehicles that uh, if you're not properly trained and you don't know what you're doing, you could potentially cause a situation where you or someone around you could get hurt. Sure, sure. So you definitely want to make sure that before you start tackling an AC job, you really know what you're doing. And if you don't, ask someone who does. Right. And the other thing I want to point out about the 609, Steve, is that now, you guys have done a lot of work in developing a brand new program that includes information on these new refrigerants that techs are going to be facing. So even if you do have your your 609 in your pocket and you, you're legal if you do, it, you owe it to yourself to get current and this is one way to do it. You can retake that 609 certification and be up to date on the new stuff. Um, Steve, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, other other elements that uh, that you guys have recently brought to your your certification class. Sure, uh, we rolled out our new Section 609 program on January 1st of 2015, 
So anyone who is going through their certification process after that date uh, is going to receive uh, updated new credentials uh, that are different than the ones that we were issuing prior to that date. Uh, and like you said, the main reason is because the EPA has changed some of their uh, rules and regulations that apply to vehicle refrigerants. Uh, primarily, uh, one of the major differences is there's new refrigerants that are being used in cars and trucks on the road today. Uh, the big one that everyone is hearing about now is called R1234YF. A uh, whole lot of letters and numbers. Uh, that basically means we're transitioning to uh, new climate-friendly refrigerants. Um, part of the certification 20 years ago was getting guys to know that refrigerants were hurting the ozone layer. So when we switched from R12 to 134A, that solved that problem. But what we found since then is that 134A, while it was great to solve the ozone problem, is actually a very highly global warming gas. Right. So what we're trying to do now is to move towards more climate-friendly refrigerants in cars and trucks. Right. And it's not just in the automotive business, it's kind of the refrigeration business across the board, you know, in, in all a variety of different in, in industries. Um, I got to say that I am very excited, very pleased that we were able to work with Max to make 609 certification available to everyone that attends Auto Mechanic of Chicago. Uh, it's part of the program that Max is helping us put on, lending us their expertise, you know, in mobile air conditioning service and repair. So that's number one, guys. If you're going to be at Auto Mechanic of Chicago, Sunday, uh, their, their instructor, Larry Turry, is going to be there, and he's going to offer the 609 certification. There is a small fee. I think it's like $15, right, Steve? Yeah, $15. Yeah, so uh, that's nothing. I'm sorry. It, yeah, that's nothing. You bring that with you to the door. You can come in. You get your brand-new certification taken right then and there. You know, the tests are processed, and, uh, you know, within a few weeks, you get your new credentials in your mail, and you're good to go. But that's not the only thing. You know, first, that's a really big thing, you know, for, for us and, and to allow uh, bring Max to help us do that for you guys. But that's not the only thing. Their other expertise is also going to be offered throughout the training event. Uh, on Friday, uh, they're going to be leading a class on their annual update, which is a collection of, of great material that they've accumulated over the past year or so. And then on, on Saturday, uh, you're going to take best practices to a whole new level. So uh, let's talk about those two classes, Steve. Yeah, and I actually like the order that you put these classes in because the annual mobile AC update class really covers not just what's happened in the last year, but it's a accumulation of what's been going on for the last several years. And, um, you know, in the automotive industry, things are changing every day. And that's right. definitely, that's especially true for the AC business. Right. So we have a lot of great information uh, that we've been working on throughout the last year that we put together in a new AC update class. Uh, and then secondly, on Saturday, Larry is going to be teaching our Max AC Best Practices class. And uh, when I teach these classes, I also like to teach best practices and lead that up to a Section 609 class. Yeah, uh, awesome. Because they both go hand in hand. And I think it's good for guys to really have a course that teaches them, you know, from start to finish, not only what refrigeration is and how it works, but how to properly use the right tools and equipment while they're doing the job. And then when that's done, dive into the rules and regulations that apply across our country when it comes to working with these new refrigerators. Right, and what a perfect time too. I mean, we're going to be hitting up at the end of April. You know, for a lot of us, that's right about the start of our AC season. So, guys, if you're going to be in Chicago, you need to be in Chicago for Auto Mechanic of Chicago Presents Motor Age Training Live. And if you're an AC specialist, if that's your, your bread and butter, then take advantage of, of the partnership that we've made with Mobile Air Conditioning Society and get their training. Steve, thanks so much for hanging out with me today and explaining to, uh, to all what you guys are going to be offering. And I uh, hope, uh, hope to see you in Chicago. You got it, Pete. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks very much.